Alright, what's going on folks? Ring Roadmap here. Today we are here to talk about the pre-fight analysis on Mark McSire versus Ray Vargas. Really excited for this fight. I think a lot of people are underestimating Vargas for this one. But uh, I'm gonna be a little bit fair here. I'm a Filipino and so um, you may think that I'm gonna root for McSire, which I am. But I'm gonna explain why that is. Alright, so let's get right into it. The first one that we'll see with, um, with Ray Vargas is the flash check hook. So as you can see here, the reason why I call it a flash check hook is because he starts off already at a hooking position. And what is that position? His arms are stretch out to the side right here. So all he has to do really is to throw that hook right there. So I'm just going to let you guys look at it. His arms are already wide. That's the first check hook right there. And that's the reason why it's a flash check hook. It starts off with his elbows flared out all the way right here. Bam. And then he throws that hook right there. So look at it again for yourself. I am. Now the reason why this will not work against Maxai is because Maxai takes advantage of those openings, man, and he's gonna catch he's gonna catch Vargas with the right hand, in my opinion, if he tries to do this uh, flash check hook. So let's look at some more flash check hooks right here. Again, keeping his elbows flared out, and then he's gonna throw the check hook like a flash right there. Alright, last one here again, starting off with his hands wide to the side right there, as you can tell. Bam. Alright. The reason why he does that is because if his opponent decides to come in, he can just slap that check hook right there, coming from the side, and he doesn't have to load up on it. And yes, it is an arm punch, like I said, but it lands and it disrupts the rhythm of your opponent, so that's what he uses it for. He doesn't really use it to, to knock his opponent out or to hurt them. Again, that's not going to work against Maxaya because Maxaya will will beat him to the spot with straight punches, you know? A straight punch will always beat a wide punch. And so if, if Vargas gets a taste of that straight punch by Maxaya, he's going to be forced to stop doing that. He's going to be forced to tighten up a little bit and to stop throwing those punches in a wide trajectory. Alright, so right here, from that... From that habit that we talked about a while ago, we're going to talk about the right hand opening now. What you're going to see here is that when he throws this jab, he has a habit of not pulling it back right away. And for that reason, he's going to get caught with the right hand again to the side of his face. And so two positions here, or two punches where he opens up his his, um, his left side of his face. The first one is when he throws those flash check hooks, as you can see right here. When he throws these flash check hooks, bam. Right side of his face is open. If you know how to beat him to the spot with a straight punch, you're gonna catch him before he even lands that chuck hook. And that's one thing that Maxai is really good at. And second, when he throws his jab, he doesn't pull it back in position. He doesn't pull it back to go right away. He tends to be lazy with it. And so again, Maxai can take advantage of this by what? By throwing a straight punch right to the left, left cheek of uh, Vargas. All right, so here's the second one again. Very lazy right here. He's gonna throw the jab, not pull it back right away. And then he's gonna get caught in the middle. It just kind of grazed right there, but uh, it did touch the face of Vargas for that particular instance. All right, here's the, here's the next one. Right hand opening again. Let's see where it opens up here. Right here on the inside. Puts his hands down instead of keeping it up. And then he gets caught with the right hand again to that side of his face, to the left side of his face right there. So look at it for yourself. Boom, right hand to the left side of his face. Alright, next one here. Again, it's gonna be that right side of his face that's gonna be open. He's gonna throw a left hook, doesn't pull it back to guard right away. Not only is his cheek open, but his chin is also right is also way up there, okay? And so what does that what does that do? It opens up his jaw a little bit more, okay? If you tuck your chin, then the jaw is gonna be a little more difficult to hit. Most of the time you're gonna hit the you're gonna hit you're gonna hit the orbital bone, you're gonna hit the temple, you're gonna hit the top of the head, but it's gonna be hard to hit the jaw when your chin is tucked. But for Vargas, his chin is not tucked. So again, that's susceptible to the right hand of um, Maxayo. Alright, so the next move that I want to talk about here is the right hand escape. Basically what he does here is it throws a very, very sloppy right hand, not a lot of power behind that. And then what he does with that is that after he takes this right, after he throws that right cross, then he's going to take a lateral step, bam, and then he's going to run away. Same thing here, right hand, he's going to run away. Right hand, is going to run away. 
All right, look at this, another one. Or look at this, another example. Right hand is gonna run away. Right hand is gonna run away. All right, here's the next one. Right hand is gonna run away. Now, the reason why this will not work against Magsayo is because Magsayo has a lot of ways in order to cover the distance and in order to counter you with your uh, lazy, lazy punches, as you saw with um, his fight against Pablo Cruz. You cannot get away with throwing these la lazy punches and slow punches against Magsayo, man. This is gonna throw his slip counters, he's gonna do pull counters, he's gonna do blocking counters, and most importantly, he's gonna do leaping punches in order to to land his punches even from a far distance even when he's coming from a far distance so as you can see here his opponent starts off pretty far he's gonna try to leap in but it's not it's not the same leap as Magsai. Magsai leaps in really far and he's gonna be able to reach uh, Vargas if he keeps on doing this all right this is not gonna be enough distance and eventually he's gonna get caught with one of those left hooks or one of those straight right hands by a Mark Magsai. that's what I can see happening now the next thing I want to talk about is the low right hand of, uh, of Vargas, a very good move that he has right here is that if when his opponent decides to come in low, he's gonna throw a right hand on the side of the face with his elbows flared out. So that's a short right hand right there, he throws it pretty low to the jaw, a very good uh, right hand from Vargas, let's see another example, he's gonna throw another tight right hand right there to the side of the face. Right, so here, tight right hand to the side of the face. And then let's look at another example and let's see if this will work against Magsayo. Or let's talk about how it's going to be effective against uh, Mark Magsayo. So again, right there, short right hand to the side of the face. Now look, I personally don't think this is going to work against Magsayo because like I said, I think Magsayo is going to counter this with a left hook of his own. So as you can see here, when he throws this short right hand, doesn't bring it back to guard right away. Bam. And then I think Magsai will come over the top here with a with a check hook or with a left hook. And Vargas is not gonna be ready for it, man. Magsai is too quick. Magsai is too good of a counter puncher to even fall for these uh, sloppy punches. And uh, unlike Navarrete, who knows how to get out of distance, who knows how to use his feet in order to get out of position, Vargas just pretty much stays in place, he steps back in one direction, and he doesn't pull it back, he doesn't pull his hands back to guard right away, he doesn't know how to block properly, and so that's why he gets caught with a lot of these shots. Now, has he been trapped? No. Has he been defeated? No. But I think Magsai is going to be the one to do it. And then the final one, the reason why I think Magsai is eventually going to win is because, come on guys, Vargas throws arm punches. Have you guys ever seen this guy fight? Again, I'm not being one-sided here. I know he's a great fighter, very tall, very long, very lanky, and a little bit awkward, but a little bit basic also. Now look at this right here. When he throws his punches, he doesn't know how to load up on it, right? He doesn't set his feet, he doesn't plant his feet, he doesn't know how to sit down on his punches, and he just kind of throws it like a Cuban, he just kind of throws his punches like a Cuban, he throws it while he's stepping back, he throws it while he's moving his feet, and again, it's not going to be enough to threaten a guy like, like uh, Maxayo, if you look at the, the guys that Maxayo had troubles with, they had power, you know, they had, they had pretty decent power, you look at Gary Russell Jr., although he's not known as a one punch knockout kind of guy, he's pretty quick, and he knows how to sit down on his punches, you look at a guy like, uh, Seiya, same thing. He knows how to sit down on those, on those punches. And that's what's gonna threaten Magsaya, really, it's that power. If you don't have it, Magsaya will just walk right through you, you know? And again, I've seen the guy, I've been in the same gym as the as uh, Mark Magsaya when he was still in the Philippines, so I know. I know what gives him troubles. I know his uh, problems in his training before. I'm, I'm sure he has improved a lot, but look, man, if you don't have power, I've watched some of the sparring of Magsaya here in the Philippines you're not gonna threaten him, okay? He's just gonna walk forward, he's just gonna walk forward with his hands up, he's gonna wait for the right opportunity to counter, and then eventually he's gonna knock you out. Look at these arm punches by Vargas, you know? That's that's gonna be one of the key contributors here. If Vargas wants to win, he has to get the respect of Maxayo, he needs to train how to sit down on his punches, and he needs to throw it with bad intent. As you can see there, again, just arm punches here, arm punches left and right, move back, step back, throw those soft jabs, there was a very um, sloppy right hand, not a lot of power behind it, again, throwing these arm punches, no momentum from the legs, I'm not trying to roast the rate of Vargas here, but look man, his style is just not enough, you know, he may win the fight if he decides to run away all night and just uh, 
and just use this as lightning. So you may do that, but I just don't see it happening. You know, Mike is too good of a counter puncher, and he's gonna win. To me, he's gonna win via late round knockout or probably a decision because Vargas is pretty slick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say Vargas is not slick, but he is hittable. He is open, and he is vulnerable. Is he? He is vulnerable for those power shots, and that's why I think Mike can win via uh, late round KO. So that was it. I'll see you guys soon. Bring Roll Map here, signing off. Join my Patreon if you want to. Well, I may upload this on Patreon, I don't know. Let's see. Peace out.